Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and we are here behind enemy lines in Dallas, Texas at URSA 2021. Many of you may not know this, but this is like the biggest conference for gym equipment, but it's typically situated towards commercial gym owners. Well, we do all know that home gyms are better, so we're here to one, educate people, and also see the latest and greatest in gym technology. Let's do it. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. This is a lot of steel, a lot of gym equipment. All right. This is a piece of equipment called ARX, ARX. This device, before you see it, costs like 45 grand. Yeah. How are you? My name's Cooper. Hi, Cooper. I'm Mike. Good to meet you, man. Yeah. We'd like to try it out. I do know there's some unique resistance involved in it. Do you mind talking through yeah, yeah. exactly what it, what it is? So it's in the name, Adaptive Resistance Exercise. So what we do is motors instead of weights. So it's you versus a machine, a motor. Okay. And because of that, we're able to optimize the resistance all the way positively, all the way negatively, and everything in between. And on top of that, we have a computer software that quantifies, tracks it all, and then controls all your ranges of motion, controls all your speeds, make sure you're doing it 100% safe. But I am uh, being matched. Whatever I give it, it will return one to one and then we just track and monitor that so it motivates you every moment to say like, well, what did I do last rep? What did I do last set? What did I do last week? And then I'm just trying to beat that number on the screen. I'm always technically losing because the machine can't be beat. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to set up on, uh, you cool with the chest press? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do chest press. My best press. lift. Nice. You get, you get the pec pump today. So grab those handles back there. I want you to push all the way out and so there's yeah. no way to push. So Great. Right there, does that feel safe, comfortable? Yeah. Cool, starting position. And then I want you to try to punch my hand. And I'm gonna stop you just short of lockout. Okay. Feel good there? Yep. So I set position A, set position B. For today, we're just gonna do seven seconds each way. Okay. So fairly slow, uh, but a lot of time under tension. And I'm gonna put a three second pause after each rep. And then, I'm kinda nervous, not gonna lie. So if you are nervous, no need to be. Uh, you control all of the resistance. Okay. So how much force you give it, it just mirrors back. I don't like to lose. I will kill this machine. Cool. So you're going to push out, and I want you to punch my hand. So try to get there fast. Good. Now, on the way back, I want you to resist against it, get in its way. Fight it the whole way back. Good. Pause for three, two, one, go. So as he's doing that, we're seeing all of his force be played out on the screen, live. Every little nuance of the range of motion is being tracked. <laughs> and you can see that those red lines are a little bit higher than the black lines. That's the eccentric oh, contraction. It's ridiculous. Here we go. Pause. Three more. Push it on the way out. I literally want you to get as fast as you, you can to my hand. Come on. Quick, 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 quick. Good. Now resist and put the brakes on this thing and try to fight it the whole way back. Keep breathing. Relax our face. Good. Pause. Two. One. Hit it. Now, why don't you watch the screen? Give me above this black line right here. Good. Keep pushing, and on the way back, try to get me above the red line. All the way, all the way, all the way. Ooh. Almost got it. Oh, man. And oh. rest. You got one more, and you're done. It's ridiculous. Push. Ooh. Excellent, excellent. Last one all the way back. See if you can hold it. Three. Ooh. Two, ah. one, and rest. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it's this is ridiculous. There's no like, there's no stopping it. It's just like destroying you no matter what. I've never felt anything like that. There's nothing like to compare it to. The closest thing would be like a flywheel system, like an eccentric K box, the part you pull, the part it pulls in, but it can only go so fast depending on how far it pull. This thing's gonna just like destroy you no matter what. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's insane. I want one in my garage. Is there is there ever a future reality where the price point of this gets down enough that we can find it in an average garage gym, home gym? Like, is this technology is the goal at all to go into that market, or is it kind of where you guys are now, where 
it's a lot of commercial gyms. Yeah, I would say commercial gyms definitely right now are our okay. number one goal, but these have been in the market for the last five years, mainly at commercial facilities. It's new technology, people need the education. Um, but as 2020 happened, more people started putting these in their home. Yeah. And you know, with more success and more, I guess, manufacturing uh, capabilities, sure. price, price points definitely go down. Yeah, this is incredible. I, I, I will own one of these eventually. Dude, thank you. Yeah, dude. That is crazy. Sure. And you guys want to try it real quick? You want to try it? I'm okay. Okay. Sam, help me there, dude. Come on. Just finished my first time on ARX. I've had calls with them in the past because I've tried to like, hey, can, how can we review one of these? They are ridiculously expensive, like 45000 I think. 81000 for both. So, <laughs> obviously, I'm going to go home and tell the wife I ordered two of them, four of them, six of them. Like, I wasn't lying when I was on there. Like, it is impossible to describe until you're on it. Think about like a barbell movement. The concentric portion on a bench press, for instance, is so much harder than the eccentric. Eccentric is kind of just like, it's your rest period. There's no freaking rest. On your way down, you're pushing as hard or harder than you are on the way up. It is insane. So you're working both ranges of motion all at one time. It's one reason flywheels are so nice. If they can get the price point down to where it's like somewhat reasonable for home gyms, like. Those are going to be everywhere. I've seen some of it with Tonal. Tonal has some of the technology in there, but it's a 200 pound max. So you can increase the eccentric and things like that. That's just a whole nother level. But if the price point got down on that, I mean, it's, it's incredible. If you ever get a chance to try one, totally recommend it. We're here with Sarah from Torque Fitness. One thing I saw in the corner of my eye was a new air bike. Tell me about it. Uh, why do you guys build it? What are some components about it that are special, maybe versus some others? Yeah, there's a lot of air bikes in the market. We were like, okay, the market doesn't need another air bike. It needs a better air bike. So we had hired an engineer who has worked on air bikes almost his whole career. He spent two years building this air bike. And the main thing um, that we wanted to address is really durability. Yeah. So we say like, if there's wiggle, there's wear. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure you know, like a lot of air bikes will break down over time. Sure. So we built this for commercial environments, but it's gonna be great for home users as well. Um, and so the main thing is this thing is solid. It is not gonna break down. It's also, um, we're doing testing right now. We believe it's gonna be the most quiet air bike on the market. Okay. So I'd love for, to have you hop on it and give Sweet. it a try. Yeah, super, yeah. super smooth. The air also does not blast into your eyes. It just kind of blasts at your body. So it keeps you cool, but it's not like drying your eyes out. Yeah, yeah. So those are, I would say the main, okay. the main things. It's got s similarity to some others that are out there, but not on this style is the multi-handle. Like I've asked for multi handles on air bikes forever because I used one I think in 80 Pro years ago, just a great addition. I can yeah I can see it. It's a belt drive, so it's like direct feedback as soon as you start going and no wear and tear. Metal fan blades on the front. Uh, it's it's beefy. Yeah, let me get on it. Where some of the air bikes, there's like, I don't want to say they take more work, but it's just like there's more friction to get on it. Where this one, it's like a little bit easier to upstart. Yeah, it's solid too. I put everything I had into it and it didn't shake. It's connected underneath, which that's providing a lot of stability on the arms. And then you obviously have like trays for phones and tablet, whatever. It's a sweet piece. Cool. Anything else here that is new or? Yep. I don't think you reviewed the Tank MX. Have you no. want to take a look at that? Yeah, 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 yeah. The MX has resistance. Oh, that, those are fat tires. Yeah. So this is we kind of say you know the Tank M4 is our F150. This is our Raptor. Okay. It's our yeah. Ford Raptor. So yeah, yeah. bigger tires, but the main thing is 25% more resistance with MX mode. Okay. So this is our hardest tank. Okay. Um, so you have your same four levels of resistance that you have on the Tank M4, and then you have this extra lever. Okay, which is something very few people have asked for because the highest setting on the regular tank is already very hard. Uh, so I would like to try MX mode because I'm sure it sucks. Let's do it. Okay.
that was, uh, <laughs> yes, that was harder than normal. Uh, can I put it on the three to see how it feels? Yeah. What's the percentage increase in resistance? So 25%. 20, okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so this is good for like CrossFit athletes, performance training. Yeah. Yeah. The sled though, that I think our audience most identifies with is the M1. Yeah. We've done a review on it. Just like everything you need, really nothing you don't. You're able to pull with it. You're able to push it. Small compact design a lot of resistance like i do usually do like more steady state stuff like longer yeah. and i'll just leave it on a one just like go for a 20 minute walk and it is more than enough yeah. what's the feedback been like from like the home gym community on this so awesome i think people love the comp compactness of it and being able to hang it up on their wall i think is really nice yeah. but then also just getting that resistance that you don't really get from anything else at home well this is torque fitness thank you for taking the time <laughs> Let's go visit Kabuki. All right, so this right here, new deadlift bar. Nobody's seen this yet but us. I think it's got bearings in it. I mean, that thing is spinning. I wonder if I'm allowed to take it off and just walk away with it. Who? How are you? What's Hi, your name? Rusty. Rusty, good yeah. to meet you. Good to meet you. You said Mike, right? I'm Rusty. Rusty, sorry. Oh, that's a Mike. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at the Kabuki booth. Very beautiful. One question I have starting off is that deadlift bar. Can you tell me about it? No, because it's secret. It's not secret. <laughs> it's sitting right there. Okay, that's our prototype, okay. and it's going to hit the market hopefully super soon. You'll notice the wider colors puts, the, puts that weight a little farther from the center. You get a better bend. Sure. Now, the thing about this bar is the, the knurling is, is fantastic. All of our knurling is. You know that. Uh, they tested 48 different patterns till they came down to three. They put those bars in the gym, let all of our members beat the crap out of them, and they settled on this one. So this bar has been in, in production and idea phase, I think it's three years now. Oh, I know. I've been waiting for it. I'm guessing 27 mil diameter. Yep, it is. Okay. What tensile strength are you using? Is this the same as what's seen on the power bar, or is it less? No, no, no. It, it has to be less because you, you won't get the band. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You got you to get the band, and that's the important thing. But there's more surface area, basically, of your hand touching neural, yep. which is like we just reviewed the aggro bar from Rogue, which is like just their most sharpest bar ever. But the grip provided by it isn't anything more than what you'd get from a Kabuki power bar. It's just sharper. It's yeah. the only difference. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of sharp. Yeah. I, I like my hands to stay hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the same way. Uh, would you mind if I put some plates on the bar and pull it? Am I allowed? Wow, okay. Sweet. Okay. Okay. It's, I mean, even with 155, it's still, I mean, it's whippy. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Rusty. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you. I, I follow you. Good. I see you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We're over here at Oxfit. Oxfit is a smart home gym of sorts. I don't know if it's a home gym. I've seen it on Instagram. I've really wanted to try it. They've got it here. So we're going to go try it and ask them about it because it looks intriguing, but they've released like hardly any info on it. The engineer who played some part in designing it reached out to me like a couple of years ago and said they were working on it said to be on the lookout and here we are so i'd love to try it all right we're here with oxfit what's your name brett Bash. we're with brett and he's going to walk us through it um hopefully let me try it oh yeah yeah you gotta, you gotta feel it to appreciate it for sure okay okay tell me about it uh well it's a probably robotic driven strength training solution it's uh provided four electromagnetic uh motors that give you resistance it's at each one of these points yeah, cables? yeah. Okay. it's doing geometry at all times so it knows where you are in space and provide vertical force. Really, really smooth. They had to pass the sniff test of some really high profile, high maintenance athletes yeah. and they used it and loved it and wanted to beg us to join the company. So we have a lot of uh, strategic partners that's going really well. I've seen that. A lot of uh, Cowboys players, right? So I think we got a little bit of baseball and hockey and football and basketball now. So we're, we're expanding as the word gets out. Cool. So this machine is designed for commercial application or performance facilities, and I'm guessing this one is 
maybe more for a home or a small studio? Correct. Uh, we have sold this to homes with substantial sized weight rooms, people to clean out just dumbbells and crap they've accumulated over the years. So, but yeah, that one's more three by five, a little bit lower price point and uh, maybe a little bit less weight. But yeah, this one's definitely going to be in the, the gyms of the, the Lakers and the Yankees and all that across the world eventually. That's our, that's our plan. What, what's the what's the resistance profile like? I'm I'm guessing if you're using electromagnetic, do you say electromagnetic motors, yeah. you're able to control both the eccentric and the concentric, Absolutely. and probably dial it in in different ways. Um, how heavy does it get, or what's or I guess how heavy is the resistance? Uh, it goes to about 440 pounds of our load, which is doesn't know momentum or inertia, so it probably yeah. feels like 550 pounds, give cool. or take. Yeah, yeah. So we we never had anybody top it out for sure. Okay. Well, I'll be the first. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>so just got done at Oxfit seen this online many times uh, it's kind of what I thought it would be it's they probably wouldn't like this but it's similar to a tonal type machine it's using electromagnetic resistance it can go way heavier at least they're like big model not as heavy as what I thought it only goes 440 I feel like for performance training I felt like they would maybe go a little bit heavier but it's gonna encompass most people however it's a much more consistent resistance so it's not like you're using momentum they have a home model coming out. That's the one that I'm really interested in because most people aren't gonna put the big one in their home. They're gonna put the little guy. And it has higher resistance than Tonal. It's a similar price point as Tonal. Basically, they're gonna try and compete in that arena. Uh, and I freaking love Tonal, so I'd love to try an alternative, another option to it. Uh, I'm excited to see it come out. Right now, it's like a 3D print version. They wouldn't let me lift on it because they said I'm too strong, so we'll see what ends up happening. all right we are finishing two days at ursa couple realizations number one this is very much designed for commercial gyms number two there is a lot of technology that is being worked on applied to fitness equipment that will then trickle down to home gyms i would love to see this basically have a conference like this for home gyms i think it would be amazing there's a lot of sweet tech in there but it's still at the point where it's like it's not fully making its way into home gyms there's some sweet bars from Aleko and some of their new equipment. Saw the new deadlift bar from Kabuki. And there's quite a few pieces that were just like, I don't know, piece I've seen online I was like really wanted to try. So pretty cool to see everything in person, meet a lot of people. Thank you to everybody that's part of our community that reached out and said, hey, but this is Coop from Garage and Reviews, and we will see you next time. Peace.